So, you want to wear the pin. What you're looking at is the pin of the ITIL Foundation Certificate Holder. No, not the shirt. You don't have to wear the shirt, but the pin is what you'll receive when you accomplish the Foundation Certificate from the ITIL, the Information Technology Infrastructure Library. My name is Michael Shannon. Welcome to the ITIL Foundation CBT Nugget. Once you complete this Nugget series, you will be perfectly prepared for the 40 question ITIL Foundations exam. My purpose in this first introductory nugget is to gonna give you a brief overview and an umbrella look at the ITIL library and the foundation certification process. So, without any further ado, let me welcome you to the ITIL series and CBT Nuggets if this is your first time. So let's take a look at the Information Technology Infrastructure Library Foundation Certification Exam. As we begin each movie of this ITIL CBT Nuggets series, I'll display an outline and up here in the upper left hand corner We'll take a look at that pin so that we'll have our eye on the prize. So as we go through each one of these movies, we can focus on our goal. Well, in this first introductory nugget, we're going to look at several key topics. We'll get a brief overview and definition of what the ITIL is. We'll then answer the question, who needs the ITIL and who is a certificate for? We'll look at a brief outline of topics, an umbrella overview of the components covered in the foundation series. We'll look at the key players involved, and then finally focus on the foundation certificate, which will ultimately lead to the practitioner and manager certificate for ITIL. The ITIL is a library of documents. It's an information technology infrastructure framework that presents best practices and guidance to help facilitate the delivery of high quality IT services. What the ITIL does is it outlines an extensive set of management processes and procedures to help support businesses to achieve high financial quality as well as high value in their IT operations. Now the names ITIL and IT Infrastructure Library are actually registered trademarks of the UK's Office of Government Commerce or OGC. And the contents of these books or documents are actually protected by the Crown Copyright. Now the ITIL also provides three certifications. The entry level foundations, the mid-level practitioner, and the upper level manager. What we're focusing on in this particular nugget series is the foundation certificate. Let's talk more about the foundation certificate. Now, who's a good candidate for the foundation certificate? You know what? Even if you aren't going to get the certificate, the knowledge in this CBT Nugget series is excellent for individuals who want a career in IT service management, information and communications technology management, or ICT management, technical support or service desk, application development and maintenance, business development and analysis, and business and IT stakeholders. When you think about it, the concept of IT service management is critical to all organizations. You want your management and your staff to kind of speak a common language and have common qualifications, regardless of where they live or where their knowledge base is acquired. This common language can be found in the IT infrastructure library. Now we're going to talk more about the ITIL, specifically what goes into version 3, which by the way is the version we're going to be focusing on, ITL version 3, in this CPT Nuggets series. And we'll talk more about the library in the movie to follow this one. But because of the organizational dependency on information technology, you need quality IT services. And they have to be matched to the business needs of the organization and the requirements of your customers and your clients. And this is an evolving process. It also must be provided in an efficient and economic fashion. You want to make optimum use of scarce IT resources. So effective management is critical. The ITIL gives us this documented process-based approach to help our organizations deliver well-managed IT services in this growing complex environment. 
Now, here's a nice outline of the information that we're going to cover in this ITIL Nugget series and realize that this is not the order in which we're going to tackle this information, but the outline is based on the foundation certificate. For example, we're going to learn about service support that involves service desk management, incident, problem, configuration, change, release management, all those different areas of management, the service desk and service support. Also, release categories we'll cover as well. We'll look at service delivery that involves service level management and service level agreements, capacity management, IT service continuity and availability management, and then finally, financial management for IT services. The ITIL Foundation also covers planning to implement service management, security management, the ICT infrastructure management, Remember ICT, Information and Communications Technology, so ICT Design and Planning, ICT Deployment Management, ICT Operations Management. We'll also explore the business perspective, application management, and software asset management, the benefits and the processes, and a look at a small-scale implementation of the ITIL Foundation's information. Who decides what information is going to be tested on the foundation's exam? Well, it's the ITIL Certification Management Board, or ICMB. It's the ICMB, the non-proprietary, non-partisan professional qualification committee that's the guardian of the integrity of this qualification scheme for all three levels of ITIL certification. They promote the universal adoption and development. They have the underlying syllabus for each qualification. Now, reporting to the ICMB, kind of out there in the field, is the QLP. The QLP is the Qualification Liaison Panel. They investigate the issues, the detail, the granular information on the ITIL examinations. Looking at the question type, the scope, the depth, and developing case studies when it's appropriate. Now, you can only take your exam from a Qualified and Accredited Examination Institute, or EI. And the ICMB makes sure that the EI meets all the qualifications and the status and provisions for providing the exam in a secure and efficient fashion. Let's say you've completed this ITIL CBT Nugget series and you're ready to take your foundations exam. You want to go to prometric.com, P-R-O-M-E-T-R-I-C. When you get to this welcome page, you'll scroll down and you'll say, I want to choose this kind of test, Information Technology Certification. And then I'll choose my testing program. For the ITIL, we're going to go down here and look for E-X-I-N. We'll click on E-X-I-N and then we'll go. On this web page, you'll find more information about EXIN certification if you want it. Once you're in the EXIN exams area, you can look at the exams tab. It'll show you that through Prometric, EIXN is going to be delivering IT service management exams like ITIL. There it is. That's the one you're looking for. They also provide certification for quite a few others as well in over 10 languages. Let's go back. Back at Prometric, you can click on this link to schedule an exam. You can click on this link to locate a testing center. Or to view your information or history, click on this link. If you click on Schedule, you'll be able to locate your testing center through this dialog. Once again, to schedule your exam, go to Prometric.com, choose Information Technology Exams, and then from the drop-down, choose EXIN Certifications. Obviously, we're interested in the foundation certificate. And this certificate is designed to, be, to give us our foundational level of knowledge in IT service management. It's really delivered to any people who want to become familiar with the best practices and guidance for IT service management as defined by the IT infrastructure library guidelines. It specifically enables people to understand the terminology used in the ITL approach. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to help you learn all the information you need to become successful, not only on the exam, but also in IT service management, bringing my over 12 years of experience to this CBT nugget. Now, remember, there's no formal requirement to attend this CBT nugget or any other training course before you take the exam. And the exam is a single, what we call, closed book 
multiple choice consisting of 40 plus questions. These are multiple choice questions, by the way, with four possible answers. You have one hour to complete the exam. Now, if you want to go on to become a practitioner or a manager, you must have the foundation certificate. So, this is your first step on the journey to practitioner and manager. So without any further ado, let's begin this process, begin this journey as we take a closer look at the ITIL, the IT Infrastructure Library version 3. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to take really good notes all along the way. Consider outlining each one of these Nugget movies and go through the entire series twice if you can. The second time, right before you take the ITIL certification exam. And finally, keep your eye on the prize. I hope this CBT Nugget's been informative for you. I want to thank you for viewing. We'll see you in the next movie.